Hello again, this is Robert Ranieri. I'm the artist that painted this painting. It's uh, acrylic on a wood panel. And like my other works, the, the, the desire is to create a multiplicity of visual effects. So through an excavation process or through a positioning of certain elements which occur early on, uh, I begin my abstract narrative, or narrative abstraction is actually the better way of putting it, because there is a narrative involved, and there is and it's a, the basically abstract forms, although one can discover certain issues in t terms of how figure elements, that is, how the image is built from a number of coherent forms. Now this is called a hillside, and there's a certain vertical, say, dynamic that occurs. You may have, uh, depending on the viewer, as what attracts your eye, first of all, whether it's the bright the yellows here, that they're very different yellows, and so they occupy a strong, say, uh, body of the, the painting, and within which you have the intercession of this configuration, which is a composite of a number of interceding forms that dovetail or progress with pressure or with uh, a gentle touch into this larger form, which in itself, again, is a division between two kinds of yellows. But I would imagine that, first of all, you see the head of a person, and the person's walking towards you, the head is first, and here you have these arc arcing forms. Of course, they are not heads, they're closer to, um, let's say, a vertical sectioning through a, a dome form, or it could be a tunnel form, and those are carryovers from my interest in classical architecture. And then you have, again, various kinds of uh, units that are forming a kind of family resemblance of this particular color, it's a, a kind of a cobalt blue, and within that cobalt blue, you have the smaller white form. It's, um, and it's not a dancing figure, it's not a flying bird. It's just a, the receiver of these, uh, these extended, if, 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 say, figure, finger-like forms, which penetrate from all, let's say, I guess, four sides. But th then you have a larger form here, and you can find that this will expand. And as you get this arcing, you have another arcing. So there's a kind of a coordinated progression in this case. And the eye can travel this way. It could go the other way, too. Of course, a large arcing, large arcing, big arcing, and then a, a, the, re, the return, the root backwards again. And then the hillside a title, which was I thought was the most appropriate title for this work, again, pulled out of a hat, not necessarily descriptive of that condition, but you have this cascade of these blue forms, which you might say have been generated from somewhere up here. So there's a rhythmic cascading here, and as we talked about that rhythm, so you have competing rhythms, and some are dominant and some are more recessive. Somewhat like orchestration, you think of how those wonderful instruments in the Philadelphia, uh, say, orchestra, or any other classically uh, developed symphonic work. It is really a wonder to have those, those various instruments working together as a family. They're very different in character and the sounds they make, except for the strings are recognized, the horns or the, 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 the drums, the tympanum. And so all of those things are part of the, my, uh, my desire that I should uh, find a musical uh, opportunity or uh, say symbolic reference so that one can even hear the sounds of the orchestra. So I must say that uh, it's now a couple of years old, several years old, and I've enjoyed making it and you'll see more of this kind. So come back again, we'll see you soon.